This video will look at examples of exponential functions. First example, Neil collects pennies. Each week, his collection grows by 6%. He starts off with 52 pennies. Write the function that shows how many pennies, P, Neil will have after W weeks. So this equation is an exponential equation, equation because Neil is growing his collection by a specific percentage. Instead of saying that he's increasing by six pennies each week, it's saying that he's increasing by 6% each week. So if he has, say, um, 100 pennies, 6% of that would be six, so he would grow his collection by six pennies. But if he currently had 1,000 pennies and he grew it by 6%, he would be growing it by 60 pennies. So the more pennies he has, the larger addition, 6% is going to be to his collection. So we're trying to figure out how many pennies will he have after W weeks. So the generic form of an exponential function is the initial value times one plus or minus the growth or decay rate raised to the power. So in this case, our initial value is the 52 pennies that he has. So we're gonna take our initial value times one. And in this case, since he's growing by 6%, we're going to be adding 6%. So that'll be 0 0.06. And then we're going to raise it, which is shift six on most keyboards to get that carrot. We're going to raise it to the W for the number of weeks. So this is an exponential growth scenario where he has 52 pennies and then each week he's increasing by 6%. So our first question says, how many pennies will he have after eight weeks? And we need to put eight into the equation. And then it also says, how many pennies will he have after one year? Well, one year is 52 weeks, so we're going to need to put 52 into the equation. So I'm setting the 8 and the 52 here so that we can type the equation in once using a cell reference and then drag it and not have to type this equation in over and over. As we go through the Excel videos, I'm going to show you different shortcuts that will hopefully help you speed up and be more efficient with Excel in the future. So in this case, instead of typing in the equation twice to get two different values, I'm just going to type it in once and then use cell references to calculate two different values. So let's see how we do this. So I'm going to start off with my equal sign. Our initial value is 52 times parenthesis 1 plus our growth rate of 0 0.06 close parenthesis raised, which is shift 6. Let's raise that to the W, which in this first example is 8 weeks. So I'm going to click on the 8. When I hit enter, it evaluates it and tells me that after 8 weeks, Neil will have 82.88 pennies. And again, please leave your answer to two decimal places. Please do not round. Now, the beauty of typing it in the way I did is now if we go up and hover over the bottom right-hand corner and drag that down, it's going to automatically fill in the next one for us, substituting that 52 into the equation where the 8 had been. And this saves you a lot of time. You don't have to type this equation in multiple times. You can type it in once using a cell reference and then just drag it down to get different values. So again, plugging in 52 for the 52 weeks in a year, we see that after a year, Neil will have 1,076 0.23 pennies. So his collection will grow quite a lot starting from 52 to one year later having over a thousand. Next example. Kathy has 500 flowers at the end of August, so at the end of the summer. Starting in September, which is when most people think fall starts, 14% uh, of the flowers die each week. We want to write the model that shows the number of flowers remaining after a specific number of weeks. So our initial value in this case is the 500. So I'll go ahead and type that in. And it's saying that 14% die each week. So she's not adding to her flower collection. She's losing her flowers. So we need to subtract that 14% since that's going away. This is a decay scenario. Those flowers are dying. And then raise it to the W for the number of weeks. So again, it's our initial value times one and then either plus or minus, depending on if it's growing or decaying, and then raised to a power. So we want to know how many flowers will there be after 10 weeks and then 20 weeks. So let's use cell references again for this one. So we'll take 500 times parenthesis, one minus 0.14, close parenthesis, raised to, and then cell reference that 10. And when we hit enter, that tells us that after 10 weeks, she'll still have 110.65 flowers left. If we drag that down, it will automatically fill in the 20 for us, saves us some time. So after 20 weeks, she'll have about 24.49 flowers left. So her flowers grow rapidly once it turns cool in the fall and the winter. 